Hello, my YouTube friends. If you want to do a professional live stream with guests without learning all kinds of complicated software and tools, I have just the solution for you today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. OBS is a great piece of software, but it's not easy to learn and it gets even more complicated when you're adding guests. Worse yet, if you don't have a strong machine to use for streaming, it can create a real mess during your live streams. You can get choppy video, choppy audio, and your audio could be all out of sync or laggy. It could be a disaster. But there is an easier way. Restream Studio is the answer you're looking for. I wanna say thanks to Restream for sponsoring this video. They've been amazing partners in the channel and have always listened to feedback and are adding new features to create a better live stream almost every week. There's a link in the description so you can check it out. Once you create your Restream account and get logged in, the first thing you wanna do is add a location you wanna to stream to. And there are a lot of options. I'm gonna add my YouTube channel. In order to add a channel, we're just gonna click Add Channel right here and I'm gonna select YouTube Stream Now. Now I could set it up manually, but it's a lot easier to connect to YouTube Stream Now. And it's going to bring up my account. I just click the one I want and click it again and click Allow. And this gives Restream permission to access the settings for your live stream, which means you can stream right to YouTube. Now if I move this little slider left and right, it turns on or off the ability to stream there. And I can also click the little gear button and remove this channel if I want to. The next step is to select webcam in the top right hand corner and click enter live studio. Now I'm going to go down here and change the camera that I want to be using as the default and my audio. I'm going to use my cam link here. So if I drop down the quality, you can see that Restream now supports 1920 by 1080. That is just awesome. Now that I've added a camera, Let's take a look at some of the new features on the bottom here. You can add a video directly from here, which means you can just play a local video source right here if you wanted to, or screen share. And we're gonna click the screen share. You can see I can share my entire screen. So if I have multiple monitors, I can share that. I can share an application window. So if I wanted to do a tutorial on Premiere or something like that, those applications would show up right here. Or I can share a Chrome tab. And if you wanted to share a Chrome tab where there was gonna be audio playing, like you wanted to play a YouTube video or something like that, you could click the share audio down in the bottom left hand corner. And I'm just gonna select this place it tab right here and click share. You can see it doesn't automatically add this to my live stream. So I just wanna go ahead and slide this slider over and it adds it. Now I can basically solo it and that puts my little icon down in the bottom right hand corner and I can switch and solo myself. And depending upon which of these solo icons you select, it will change so that the box is down in the bottom right hand corner, or it's not. So now we have the ability to solo ourselves without anyone in the lower right hand corner, or we can just solo ourselves with that little image in the bottom right hand corner. This can be a fantastic tool for tutorials, if I'm showing something where my image in the bottom right hand corner is just getting in the way, I can easily turn that off. As you're going to see in a little while, it actually works exactly the same way for adding guests. So I can solo a specific guest with the boxes down in the right hand corner for the other guests, or I can remove those boxes and just have the guest be the only thing on the screen. It's pretty awesome. I can also adjust and change the overlays and everything so that the guests are situated on the screen in different patterns. But we'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's go take a look at what we can do with this chat feature. Now in a live stream, no matter how many platforms you're connected to, your chats are gonna be right here. You can go live to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Twitch, all at the same time if you want. Well, all these chats are gonna show up right here in the chat box on the right hand side. If I wanted to highlight one of those, I can just go to the chat and click the little show button. And you can see it puts a little lower thirds down there with that actual chat. It's really, really simple and awesome. 
Now, captions is very similar. It will put a lower third down there, but you can select what you want it to show. So, all I would have to do to modify this up is put in some primary text and some secondary text, and I can basically put a lower third in there that says anything I want it to say. It's really that easy. Next, let's take a look at the graphics section. I can show a logo at the top, we can use the Restream logo, or I can upload my own and show that. We also have the overlay, which is exactly what you would think. It's just a screen with alpha that overlays over your broadcast. So let's say this is an actual live stream, and I'm about to start the stream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some assets that are going to project over top of the screen so that it comes on when the actual video goes live. And I'm probably going to start out with something like this. It's a stream starting soon screen, and it plays really quickly. And then I would jump right into a countdown. It's going to kind of count down to the stream. And after that, I would probably play something like this bumper, which just kind of shows off my branding and tells people, hey, we're going live right now. Now, while that's playing, I activate my camera so that as soon as this video is done, I show up, as you're going to see right here. Now you see how unbelievably professional that looks and how easy it was to create. All the slides that were created for this were easy to make right in Place It by Envato. If you want to check out Place It by Envato, you should definitely click the link in the description. It even comes with a discount for using my link, and it's so easy to create these. So another feature I wanted to show you is the background feature. When there's no camera playing or anything like that, you can set up your background to be anything that you want. Restream provides one of its own backgrounds, but you can go out and download some or create them on your own and find your own. If you click the upload button, you just browse to it and select the one you want, and then you can add your own. So it's really easy to do that. So to add a guest to your live stream, you just click this little person plus button here, and you can see your link right there. You can click on the little squares next to it and share it in email or some sort of IM messaging service or however you want to do it. Now this link is permanent, which means every time you share this link, it's always active, it's always live, so people who have this link can get into your live streams anytime they want. And this can be really convenient if you always have the same guests on, you don't have to worry about sending out new links. But if you wanna change it up because maybe you're getting some weird people showing up in the side, well, you can easily do that just by clicking the refresh. Also, at the top of this, you can see that you can add up to 10 people in your live stream. That's a lot of guests, really awesome. So once my guests kind of pile in, you'll see them over here on the right-hand side. What I'm gonna do is kick off a little bumper that's gonna separate and allow me to add my guests. So I just click this video button and the video plays and while that's playing I just add my guests to the background. As soon as the video is over we show up and there we are. Now in any individual guest screen I can click this little arrow to maximize them or I can click this one so it maximizes them but it also shows our boxes down in the bottom right hand corner. If I wanted to change up the layout a little bit, I can click this and it'll bunch all the boxes together so the background doesn't show. And of course, I can spotlight any guest with our boxes down in the bottom right hand corner or without. And I can also adjust this layout so that we can see some of the background or so that we don't. It's really, really easy to control how you see your guests on screen, how the layout is set up, and what you want to see. For me, this ease is absolutely a game changer if you're trying to do a live stream with guests. You don't have to worry about anything at all. It just works. So once you've finished doing whatever you're going to do and it's time for the stream to end, it's always nice to have an end card that lets folks know that the stream is over. And of course I created this one and place it as well. I just click on that card and the video starts to show. Now I can take my video off the stream because it's hidden behind the video and I can go down here to the background and turn on a static background so that when this video is finished running the static background will stay up there and I like to do this for 20 or 30 seconds or maybe even a minute or so after my stream is finished so that you know it gives people a chance if they're chatting in the chat or something to finish up before the stream actually ends. 
I'm pretty sure you guys can see why I'm so excited about Restream IO. They're really doing a bang up job. I actually had to refilm pieces of this video that I just filmed a week earlier about adding guests because they changed so many features and they're constantly updating the platform. So do me a big favor and go ahead and click that link in the description and check them out. They're working really hard. If you want to see how Restream Studio and Zoom stack up as conferencing softwares, you should check this video out right here. If you have any questions at all about Restream Studio, leave a comment, let me know. I answer everyone. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.